Hello, I am back with another video. This is a requested video about how I put my beads on my the ends of my hair. Um, it's a fairly simple process, not too difficult. And the reason why I do add beads to mainly is for decoration, just to add a little uh, pizzazz to my ponytails. But another reason is also for protection, because as you can see, with nothing on the braid or the ponytail, it still rubs against the clothing. And as we know, that can cause breakage and dryness and whatsoever. Even though I don't always put beads on it, but um, yeah, as you can see, it still rubs against the clothing. So the beads adds as a protection pr protector between the hair and the clothing. And I have an array of beads that I purchased from beauty supply stores, like about 99 cent uh, different color type of um, uh, beads and I'll put pictures of them at the end of the video. My mom, she also used to do this too when she uh, would wear her hair down. She hardly does that now. She's kind of stubborn with that. But anyway, um, she used to do the same thing, put beads on the end of her ponytail. So I inherited her beads. I had to beg her for them, but she finally gave them to me. And they're kind of, if you can see, big jumbo beads. Those are the ones I mainly use. And I don't know where she got these from. Like I said, I remember in the 80s when she used to do this, so maybe, I don't know. Anyway, here's a larger size bead with a larger size hole. And this is the way I add these beads because you can just, I can just thread my hair through it and just push it up until I can't push it up any further. And sometimes I have a certain pattern on how I put them on, but right now I'm just doing this for the sake of the video. And let's see. I'll put another large bead on there. Just thread it through. And this is a smaller size bead, but the hole is still large enough where I can thread my own hair through it. And this is why I like the ends of my hair the way it is. A lot of people say, oh, that's so thin. Look at them thin ends. I'm happy with it. It's not bothering me. They're not damaged. It's not breaking. So, again, I have no um, desire to cut the ends of my hair. Um, let's see. Let me go with another one of these. And then as I get further down the ponytail, where it starts to get a little thinner and, I, and the, the hole of the bead gets smaller, I'll use a needle and thread to apply the beads. Mm. Let's see a large enough hole. Or I would fold the hair and stick it through. And I have this different type of bead. I don't know where I got this from. I have a couple of them, but that's too small. Wait, where are we? So with this, I will add, here's a needle and thread. You don't need that much thread. You knot it at the end. And you uh, open that thread up. And I'll just slide the tip of the needle through and create a little loop if you can see. I don't know if you can see that. Now I'll put that on the end of my hair. And then I will pull and just make it like a little anchor on that. And I'll take the put this down some. And I'll take my slide knot. I'm gonna do it again. Again, loop the needle through there, make a little loop, put on the ends of the hair. I'll put a little further up so it won't slide off so easy. Create an anchor, get the bead. Slide the bead on to the needle. And then 
it goes onto the hair like a soul. And I can see it slipped off, so I got to do it again. And it probably keeps slipping off. Again, create an anchor, get another bead of choice. And let's just go with that. I'm going to slide. Oh, shoot. So it keeps sliding off the end. Okay, I'm going to put it up a little further so it won't slide off. Again, put the bead onto the um, needle, slide it up towards the thread, and then push it onto the hair. I can't see. And slide it up. And then the tail of the hair, sometimes I let the, the, the tail just hang and sometimes I just let it fold up into, once I slide the bead on, it'll fold up into the rest of it and just leave like that. Let's see now. And then I will get some scissors and then cut, cut the thread only, not the hair, just cut the thread. Snip. Scissors are dull. Okay, cut that and I will add a rubber band to the end to prevent the beads from coming off. I usually um, use those uh, non pull or tug, whatever it is, elastic bands or bands. I don't have any. I'm just going to use a regular rubber band. And put it on in my hair. And that's it. That's how I put my beads on my hair. And outside of this, I made some beaded extensions. So I won't have to, if I want to add like a little decoration. To my hair without braiding my hair and going through this process I made a couple of beaded extensions as I call them here's one of them that I made just went to the craft store and bought just different things I made these about a couple of years ago and I'll put a little clip I don't have anything right here well I'll use this what I'll do is just put a little hair clip on the end depending on what what I'm wearing or whatever. I'll just clip that onto my hair, cover that up now to give me, you know, a little extra more of pizzazz look to that. And I'll show you the other ones that I've made. So here are some more beaded extensions that I've made. And as you can see, they're just basic hair beads on some string that I purchased from a craft store like Hobby Lobby, places like that. And just little jeweled accents to them. And I'll use these in my hair from time to time just for, you know, added decoration. Let me get a little closer. Can y'all see that? Yeah. So I made these, all of these I made. Um, these I bought as is at the, from the jewelry store. You know, if you if you if you are a jewelry maker, and you can buy little things for necklaces, I just buy the whole strand and just use them as hair decorations. Um, this one, is a little headband with uh, feathers, I actually bought that as is from a store. And again, feathers, I bought those as is, but the rest of these, yeah, I made. You can see those. And actually, I want to show you how I would use it, these accessories. 
Okay, here's another beaded extension. And these are just bought from um, Hobby Lobby in their jewelry making department. Like I bought the strands as is already, you know, decorated. So what I do, I would put a rubber band on the end of the already strand right there. And I would add that to the end of my ponytail. I'll just, just give it a add a little something something. You know, just to be different. Nothing wrong with being different. Actually, that's coming. I gotta fix that because I don't like the way that's gapping right there. So I'll worry about that later. Anyway, yeah. So that's how I do that. And that's mainly it. I uh that's it. Like I said, this protects the hair from rubbing against the clothing, so it's an added barrier there. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I have other requested videos coming up um, soon. So watch out for those. Talk to you later. Bye. I asked her about them and she, don't, whatever. But mainly these are hair beads for the most part and then a little, uh, 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 wait, where are we? Okay, uh, sorry. Oh, damn it. Okay, yeah. Not shortly, but, oh, that's. It's like